My name's Tess and I work as director of a small not-for-profit charity providing therapeutic services for children and families. So I'd worked for many years in the NHS um, and I hadn't been a leader as such. I'd kind of been managing a small team within a team but I hadn't really been a leader. Um, so when I set up my company um, I was really struggling with the business aspects of that and the leadership aspects of it and one of the things that I found was that as soon as you get into the business world people seem to have very different priorities to the ones I was used to so whereas I was used to working with people for whom people came first um, I suddenly found that profit was supposed to come first and in all my conversations with banks and accountants what they were trying to persuade me to do was lots of things to minimise my tax so I was feeling um, very wobbly, really, in my leadership role. And what I was looking for was a course that would bring together my spiritual development and my development as a business person and, in particular, as a leader. And to begin with, the only course that I could find um, was through Contemplative Outreach, and that was in Albuquerque. And I said to my husband, I think I'm going to have to go to Albuquerque. And he said, could you not find something a bit more close to home? Um, how about looking at Woodbrook? Um, so since I'm a Quaker and I knew about Woodbrook, I looked and I was just so pleased to find it because it completely fitted what I needed at the right time. The difference it's made to me in my work life in particular has been quite dramatic in that from a point of feeling really quite lost as how I was going to manage to lead the company in the way that I wanted to, the way that I felt I needed to based on Quaker values, integrity, truth, you know, social justice, all those things. Um, I really was, was struggling with that and then since being on the course things have kind of gradually um, fallen into place um, so that I now have a very clear sense of being a leader um, with the integrity that I want to have and clearly based on the values that I have and with a really clear sense of purpose about what I'm doing and that's really helpful for um, the team that I manage and for stakeholders, for um, trustees in the new charity that we've been able to set up. So in the co over the course of this um, programme, my um, work life has really blossomed and I'm absolutely clear that it would not have blossomed in such a full way without the input that I've had here. So I'm really grateful for that. I think the programme hits a very rarely found balance of being very spiritually robust and working at a depth, um, encouraging us as a group um, to be open and to trust one another and to get to know each other so that we're able to explore together um, areas that can really feel quite scary um, but which might be holding us back in ways that we might not be aware of in our leadership. It balances that with very, very practical guidance and advice. So it's, it's a bit like this is where you need to be within yourself in order to do your job and these are the ways that you can then proceed and take a set about it. So um, to, to have ways of re, recalibrating um, my organisation, for example, um, you know, the team is now self-managing, um, we're being as teal as we can, um, and we're trying to lead from the emerging future and sense what's coming, those things um, have really transformed the day-to-day -day working life of, of a company, as well as developing me spiritually. 
Being here in Woodbrick is one of the things I've really appreciated about being here because it's such a peaceful venue. It's easy to get to and it's so warm, everybody is so hospitable and welcoming that it kind of clears the way for the work that we need to do, which is complex and at times really stressful, sometimes distressing. Um, if I think if you're doing it properly, you're bound to come up against some bits that are painful. But one of the things that you don't have to worry about is, is whether or not you're going to have a nice meal, whether you're going to have a comfortable bed, whether people are going to be friendly to you and help you out when you've forgotten something. You know, so all of those things make it, I think, the perfect setting. In the NHS right now, um, there are lots of people who are trying to help other people get better while actually being made sick themselves because of the pressures that they're under in a very, very dysfunctional organisation that's really being attacked from all sides. It's a really, really difficult environment to work in. It's really toxic. And I think for healthcare in general, for my area, which is mental health care in particular, to go forward and develop, we need to have a way of developing in a different way. We need to find ways of supporting and caring for the professional people who are delivering services, not just expecting them to be putting out and giving to people without getting anything themselves. And in this, clearly, the role of leaders is absolutely crucial. So I think what this programme has to offer leaders in my sector and outside my sector is the opportunity to develop insight but also the opportunity to develop foresight. And for me, that's been one of the real light bulb moments of being here, is the way that it helps us to think about being present in the, in the present, in the now, and then to be able to sense what's coming, to lean into the future and see what's emerging in a way that enables us to be prepared for it, and to be thinking about it before you know before we get there not in a rigid rigid kind of way of making plans but a way of taking responsibility for where we are and where we're going to be um, for anybody who finds themselves in a leadership position of any kind it would be really helpful um, but also um, for anybody thinking about possibly taking on a leadership role um, so, and we can think about leadership, whether it's within your worshipping community, whether it's um, within a small team in the workplace, or within your family. There's lots of different places that people are needed to become leaders, not so much in managing everybody else, but in having a clear view themselves, and then being able to step forward to offer um, inspiration, guidance to other people, and to be able to kind of track the way forward. Um, my place here has been funded by the company that I've set up, but um, it's a very small not-for-profit company, and if Woodbrook hadn't subsidised the cost of the course, we wouldn't have been able to afford it as a company, you know, without any question. Um, so I hope that what comes out of the course for me is going to be a way of paying back. Um, I think it's money very, very well invested, um, you know, for Woodbrook to have people who've got the kind of insights that we've been given, um, you know, not only in the Quaker community, but in other worshipping groups or beyond that, I think will be really beneficial uh, because it's what the world needs and Woodbrook's part of the world. We can't underestimate the need at the moment for there to be leaders who have had an opportunity to do work on themselves that really equips them for the very, very difficult times that we live in. 
so that we have people who can approach the kind of crisis that we've got in the climate, the crisis we've got politically and globally with compassion, with insight and, and with foresight.